Why does my friend's dog always smell my crotch and bum? When humans think of bad smells, we immediately imagine something like that walk in the woods where someone accidentally steps on the rotting corpse of a skunk and the smell is so bad that it is capable of making anyone throw up their lunch. For dogs, there are no bad smells. Just smells. Dogs are so superior to us in the olfactory department that they are capable of smelling layers. Also, they have no preconceived biases with which we are brought up. When a dog smells like someone's crotch, this is telling you a number of things about their health, whether they have a disease such as cancer, diabetes or kidney problems, are they of reproductive age, youthful age, or are elderly. It will run its nose through all the things it can smell on you and decide if you are an enemy, a friend, your strengths and weaknesses, etc. When a dog comes up and smells your crotch, you have to get away from thoughts like a he's sniffing my privates or my butt and understand that for him there are no negative connections, that this is his luggage. And yes, they are going to smell a menstruating woman because that smell tells them a lot about her. Sometimes they get aroused because that smell is similar to the smell of their females when they are in heat. That smell was made to arouse them, because they have a job to do. We adults are so much like our fifth grade selves that they laughed at dirty words and always saw things with double meaning. When a dog comes to me or when I come to him, I allow him to smell, obviously, I would not allow it to happen next to the wrong company. As with any pet, we need to learn their behaviors and why. Every time you come to a new dog, you should calmly put your hand so that it sniffs first and then it can be petted. A tail and body language will tell you when they accept you. The next time a dog sniffs you, you realize that you are seeing an incredible evolutionary process that shouldn't be fun or embarrassing. It is natural and an incredible ability to have. Our dogs can do a lot of weird and embarrassing stuff, like dragging their bottoms and pulling unmentionables out of the bathroom garbage can, but there's one behavior that outranks them all on the mortification scale, greeting your guests with a dog nose to the crotch. While it might seem like an unpardonable breach to us, in the dog world, it's totally normal to go to a scent-rich source to learn more information about newcomers. According to Stanley Corin, Professor Emeritus at the University of British Columbia and author of Do Dogs Dream, there's a very good reason why dogs smell the human groin region. The groin area has sweat glands called apocrine glands, which produce chemicals called pheromones that convey social information. Corin states, in humans, the apocrine glands are found only in certain areas of the body, with the highest concentrations in the armpits and groin area, so dogs try to sniff these areas for the same reasons that they sniff the genital regions of dogs. Because a dog smelling a crotch is a means to gain information about other dogs and people, this inappropriate sniffing typically occurs during the nice-to-meet-you phase of greeting. And this can result in embarrassment for all parties involved, except for the one doing the sniffing. Dogs have a strong sense of smell, in fact the sense of smell is the dominant sense they have in their body. Dogs take advantage of these features and use the sense of smell to read details in their surrounding. When they smell your crotch they are simply trying to figure out details like identifying your age, health, and mood of the individual. This behavior also give a lot of sexual information as about the victim as well. Details like pregnancy and moods relating to sex. So the next time you see your dog smelling your crotch, just let him do it maybe he, she is trying to figure out how your day was. Dogs have apocrine glands all over their bodies, but the highest concentration is found in the genitals and anus, hence why they sniff each other's butts. Intact male dogs are known for being especially avid sniffers when searching for a mate since they want to know if a female is ovulating or pregnant. What can a dog sense from smelling your crotch? Some human crotches are more likely to attract a dog's curious nose. Those who have recently had sexual intercourse. Those who are menstruating. Those who have recently given birth. While a dog sniffing a menstruating human woman's crotch may not involve quite the same threat detection or sex information seeking, there's still a level of interest. That is where your scent is the strongest. Dogs can tell a great deal about a person from their scent. To them the world is an exciting world of scents. They are constantly sniffing around. From their point of view, we're disabled because we can't smell the variety of things that they do. 
They are consciously aware of every phenomenal change in those about them. They can even smell emotions as well as tell you when the food is done cooking. They know when a person has evil intentions towards those they love, and it's probably based on smell. They are famous for being able to find people by their scent trail. All dogs can do it. Training a dog is more about teaching him to communicate with us dumbbells. The best way to put yourself in a dog's mind is to realize that smell is to their experience of the world what sight is to ours. Smell is their primary sense, sight is ours. This is why it's so annoying when I see, probably otherwise decent, dog owners who don't give their little pooch a chance to smell things while out for a walk. The owner just thinks it's time to stretch their legs and give it a potty break, totally forgetting the exciting importance of smelling stuff. It's like a doggy amusement park to them, not to mention something like their social media as they can sniff what doggy and human friends of theirs have been around. Yes, they can catalog hundreds of unique individuals, dogs, people, others, just by smell. And from all we can determine, their smell memory lasts for a lifetime, even from just one interaction. In fact, although it's still an experimental understanding, the evidence and research seem to show that dogs can even smell disease and medical conditions in humans, like blood sugar problems and cancer. Wow! And to give you a visual of how strong a dog's sense of smell is, I once saw a police K-9 demonstration in which the dog could detect a half-inch rock of crack cocaine, inside a plastic vial, inside a big barrel full of water. Again, wow! So, that's a long way back to your question. And the answer is that our pheromones, chemical hormones that can be smelled, are strongest from our crotches and armpits. In fact, from an evolutionary perspective, the reason we naturally grow hair in those regions is to increase the area of pheromone coverage and magnify the smell. Therefore, dogs like to smell crotches because, a, it's super interesting to them, and, b, it's how they remember who that individual is. Last point for dog owners, if you truly love your furry friend, stop using all that scented and fragrance crap in your homes like Febreze, Yankee Candles, dryer sheets, etc. First, the fragrance industry is largely unregulated and a lot of that stuff is tantamount to poison. Second, and to the point, what you think smells good is incredibly overwhelming and noxious to a dog, same for cats. Imagine if you took that wonderful Yankee candle, harvest vanilla, and magnified the smell by 1000 times. How would you like that? Well, that's what your dog is putting up with because it doesn't know how to flush the frickin' candle down the toilet. A great book to help you understand a dog's perspective, inside of a dog. They sniff because they're curious and total information hounds. Dogs love olfactory data. They plot their world out using this amazing sense. We can't compete. They do it most to their own species thankfully. Fortunately, not all dogs do this. My dogs are both shorties, so unless you're slithering on the ground, or hung like a donkey, they're quite content with legs, shoes, hands or your entire person but from a small distance. Personally I'm not a fan of crotch sniffing. It's always embarrassing in public. And dogs being dogs, they rapidly learn which behaviors are okay. Years ago, a relative of someone close to me tragically died. The neighbor came round to comfort the person and their elderly grandmother. She pushed past the pedestrian gate and approached. Our excited German shepherd rushed over. There was no Caesar Milan to educate us about dog psychology and leadership. He went right up to her and promptly stuck his nose under her skirt. I mean, he really went for it. She shrieked, which excited him more. We had a not so easy time getting him away. So be careful what you wish for. My dogs have probably sniffed every millimeter of my body. I lie on the floor with them and if they're in the mood they sniff me for whatever reason. My basset isn't interested in me when I'm menstruating anymore, thank heavens. He's been neutered, so that may be the reason. He was truly bonkers when very young, and didn't behave badly for a long time after that anyway. They're much more interested in my breath. And my clothing. Also my hands. Whilst crotch sniffing is normal for many dogs, that doesn't mean that we should all allow it whenever and wherever. Dogs can sniff you entirely without making contact. 
They don't need to give you an impromptu biopsy. Please leave your story in the comments, I would love to make a video on them in the future also, don't forget to like and subscribe to you never miss a video.